Hello everybody, welcome to another daily dose of gaming news and all that good stuff and as always I also publish on Rumble, on the blogger as a post archive thing there and on Patreon for extra support and any kind of updates usually I go about on the Twitter X platform um, and yeah, uh, yesterday uh, I did manage to get around and um, managed to find like a couple of hours to do a, a live stream uh, and I did the live stream at the same time in YouTube and Rumble uh, mainly as a test um, I, again I, I thought I was going to stream maximum a couple hours but then again uh, it's overextended because uh, it's Elden Ring um, yeah the the rumble footage uh, the, yeah I need to tweak a little bit more the settings I already tweaked after the stream uh, I thought it was like a processing thing on, on Rumble, but it's yeah, it it's just skips frames all over the place. I already tweaked a little bit more, and I w uh, and on YouTube it's 1080p 60. Uh, it, it's okay-ish. It's got uh, again a little bit compression, mainly because I was trying to make the the, the settings all the same, so it doesn't uh, push too much my my uh, CPU there. Uh, but uh, yeah, I basically went around and did a, a little bit reshuffling there again the next couple of streams for sure will be a, a lot of testing um, for me to try to tune a little bit the quality of the stream the best I can and uh, be able to play the game at the same time and also record uh, everything in, in 4k 60 which uh, will come out I already managed to get around and uh, um, do the best that I can with uh, episode 6 and 7 of the programming I did in terms of live streams um, it it is basically uploaded on YouTube I'm just waiting for it to process to 4k and I will be launching then on YouTube and again uh, I can manage 1440p on uh, rumble uh, the the VOD stuff uh, but yeah I am uh, afterwards I, I had to delete the the, the live stream uh, it's very poor quality I, I really didn't like it um, so I basically deleted the footage when I have time, I will uh, try to uh, do another uh, test stream, like stream around 30 minutes, one hour maximum. I might be doing that with uh, maybe Death Strain or something like that. Um, I don't know. We'll see uh, about that. But yeah, uh, keep your eyes peeled on uh, Twitter regarding any kind of updates regarding live streams. But uh, yeah, I will try to do um, the like um, live stream on both platforms at the same time. If uh, after a couple or at least three uh, tries in trying to trick around and all that jazz, if I see if I cannot manage good quality uh, in terms of streaming, I'm just going to keep streaming on YouTube because the main platform that I use for, for videos and probably when in the future I might be getting around and, and do something about the, the, the Rumble uh, uh, thing there. Uh, but yeah, it's something that I'm trying at this moment in time. Uh, mainly because I also post everything on Rumble as a secondary uh, platform, so uh, I, I think it. W uh, I thought it would be good uh, to try it out, uh, but yeah, it will take a little bit tweaking around here and there. Um, but yeah, regarding live streams, that's that's the situation here. In terms of gameplay series, uh, today we should be able to get uh, Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden episode here. Uh, later on uh, and then again uh, of course regarding live streams we'll see uh, what I can do uh, regarding that I, I cannot promise anything um, but yeah the rest seems to be in uh, order and on schedule with my uh, internal planning there and yeah not much happened except just one thing uh, we finally have official news regarding Elden Ring uh, Shadow of the Earth 3 uh, yesterday, just right before I, I went to bed, I just did a quick check on, on the social medias to see if it, anything important to, 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 to make a bookmark out of it for, for today news. And the only thing that popped out was basically Elden Ring. It's still trending um, all over the page, Shadow of the Year 3, Elden Ring DLC. And we got the official revelation uh, from uh, even Bandai Namco, from software, everybody. Uh, we got a gameplay reveal trailer uh, for uh, f today uh, at this moment of recording it will be at seven o'clock my time it's like 2 20 in about five hours or less I'm not going to do a live stream reaction kind of a thing uh, again I, I again I it's I used the, the, the free time that I have 
uh, and it just in short notice trying to to get around this i have uh, some stuff to do but uh, afterwards uh, if i can have a little bit time to do some uh, live streaming i will comment on that uh, probably i will probably will try to 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 use i think it's a good idea doing a live stream uh, react uh, and do a post-mortem to a certain degree of the the the, the gameplay uh, reveal trailer for sure we will have a proper date because it's uh, the anniversary of Elden Ring 20, the 22nd of February that's why it's Japan time midnight uh, when it turns 22 uh, and yeah the presentation will be for three minutes long so not much about it and there is language subtitles will be available so I suppose it's going to be Japanese uh, audio uh, so uh, voiceover uh, and of course uh, please use youtube caption tool to select your perfect language okay uh, i might be doing uh, i'm thinking about it uh, again if i have time i will do a, a live uh, a live stream just to test out my setup to see if everything is okay-ish um, but uh, yeah but i don't know I, i'll we'll see but yeah tomorrow for sure i will bring you in the in the normal uh, daily news i will bring you some updates of at least with the reaction um but yeah uh, i will uh, now that i think about it i might be able later so after seven o'clock my time uh, i might be doing something uh, about this uh, i might be doing something about this probably i think it's not a bad idea uh, at least i can test out the the the, the streams uh, on youtube and rubble at the same time and to see if maybe the settings are, are a little bit better um but yeah regarding the the, the then the the anything that i do live stream i always record in 4k 60 so it will not be an issue afterwards even if uh, i uh, stream is is uh, shit show uh, but yeah basically it's the only news that i got here i just tried to refresh the the, the site news that i usually go for um there was uh, there was nothing interesting except that uh, a lot of people are speculating uh, the launch of the, the the dlc will be 21st of june uh, again i suppose it's mainly because of the earnings call things and the quarterly uh things that happened on katakawa that there there is a lot of uh, trying to read between the lines on their earnings calls uh that i think that's why people are throwing uh, around 21st june uh, i don't know uh i will assume we have a date on the release date of the dlc and hopefully at least gives me at least a month or two for me to level up a little bit more my character and 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 at least open the map uh, which is huge i just uh, out of curiosity because i was uh, um, I, I didn't know the, the size of the map in a, a, yeah it's uh, just by the size of the map without the the, the, the locations uh, things it, it's it's pretty big um i'm, I'm screwed I, i'm going to spend a lot of time going around which is a good sign uh, the fact that it's huge and by the systems that we already uh, uh, are playing with it's it's completely inside the game it's uh, that's why it had the game of the year it will be the game of the decade for sure the way they went about it uh, the, the, at least everything that how is it int integrated itself and of course the storytelling it's um, it's uh, it's unique um it's very curated and detailed and 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 the themes that that they are approaching here it, it's uh, it's uh, it's something uh at another level uh but yeah basically this is the only news that i got here we'll see later again but uh, i i, I uh, ask you to, to pay attention to my twitter uh, regarding anything uh, re regarding this this situation here uh i might try to at least stream something later at least uh, just a commentary on on the shadow of the earth 3 reveal trailer here uh so i'm just going to wrap up with some gaming deals again we still have a uh, lies of pe uh on steam uh 25 percent off uh, we got armored core again just to reinforce the situation here that uh, yeah it's almost finished around one day or so uh, when the this is published uh, it's very rare uh, from software games are on the discount even though they are always good at the full price um, we got also the dark souls trilogy 50% uh, off in all of them and uh, all of them includes the dlc even on dark souls deluxe edition which is the way to go again with all the dlc there uh, and we got 50% off on no man's sky they had the 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 weekend that is passed it was free to play and if you uh, wanted to 
uh, jump it with the, the progression that you made during the weekend is available after you buy the game so if you're still on the, any doubts you can jump in and uh, continue the the gameplay that you did on uh on the weekend uh, got also 67% off on Red Dead Redemption 2. Again, this one is also uh, in about in one day will end. And on GOG, we got um, the Wolfenstein bundle. I think this is only the free mainline game, so the Old Blood. It's the Blood, Blood, Blood Kowski, I don't know, Black Squids. I always forget the name of the, the character. Uh, mainline story, so the trilogy, which uh, in terms of uh, how they launched, it's New Order, uh, Old Blood, and New Colossus, I think. But in terms of storyline, it's Old Blood, New Order, and New Colossus. But yeah, it's uh, 85 percent off, thirteen ball, thirteen dollars. I think it's a good price. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a very good price. At least I played the first game. It's a pre very good sh for FPS. Uh, it got this. Uh, yeah, you just kill Nazis all over the place, and it's got some mechanical enemies. Yeah, it seems pretty good. Um, we got also Shadowrun Trilogy, 82% off, so 10 bucks the free games. This is a very well-known um, a trilogy. It's uh, from Airbrain Schemes, which are the same guys that did uh, uh, the last game that they, they basically just uh, separated from Paradox, which uh, was uh, uh, Tomb, not Tomb Raider. It's like the Indiana, Indiana Jones uh, kind of a feel like on... Um, Oh my god, I forgot completely the name. Doesn't matter. Um, yeah, this this one has all the DLC associated with it, if not mistaken. And it's uh, we got around one day until uh, if you want to claim this one, it's got Shadow uh, Shadow Run. Sorry, Shadow Run Returns, uh, the Dragonfall Director's Cut, and Shadow Run Hong Kong, and then got everything here. Uh, yeah, it's got everything there. It's a, uh, I think it's a, it's turn-based strategy, isometric. It's like very indie-like. Uh, the graphics is not like blown out of the water, but it's I think it's a pretty good RPG there in term by in term also in terms of turn-based combat there. Um, we got also Dredge thirty percent off. Um, again, it's a very recent game. That's why it, it, the price is still a little bit up there. Uh, if you, uh, but I think it's an excellent game. Uh, I think he, he, it's a good experience in terms of Lovecrafting environment. There, uh, we got also the, the Evil Within one and two. The uh, Evil Within one is seventy five percent off. Um, I don't know if this one has the. No, I don't think this one. Yeah, then you have the the DLC. Uh, uh, yeah, it's not included on this version. And then we got the, the Evil Within 2. This one doesn't have DLC, so it's the, the base game is the full game in terms of experience. Uh, but yeah, uh, I did some gameplay uh, series uh, on both of these games. Um, quite different. Um, very similar in terms of how they approach the, 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 the system they try to approach to a certain aspect like Resident Evil. But uh, the story is not bad, the themes, but uh, again, the execution is not flawless, let's say. Uh, and lastly, we got Wasteland Free Colorado Edition, which has basically the the main DLC campaign stuff there, which is uh, the Battle of Steel Town, the Cult of the Holy Detonation, and Colorado Survival Gear DLC. Uh, the other versions has basically the digital goodies um, associated with it. And yeah, seventy five percent off. Again, I will eventually go about uh, resuming, not resuming, but restarting the Wasteland Two Director's Cut campaign. And then follow up with Wasteland Free um, whenever I can. And yeah, I forgot to brought up my. Uh, I can choose to this uh, just to plug on my Patreon as a wrap up here uh, for extra support. Uh, the extra support it is um, uh, for uh, storage at this moment in time for me to be able to get backups or backups for the things that I do for my clients and of course uh, extra space for the videos that I do for the channel. And with all that said, guys, I hope we have a wonderful day. I will probably see you later. Uh, let's see how things go. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Till then, let me master out.